Next question comes from A. Douglas Drums. It's a deep one. Okay. When you work alone so much like you do, how do you keep from going into a, quote, social depression? Hmm. So, oh, man. So, okay. On, well, first of all, let me tell you exactly how often I, I work alone. When I'm, when I'm at a peak work week for me, if I'm pulling 40 or 50 hours, um, it is quite literally 40, 50 hours alone in this room. Um, you know, I, I work from home. My fiance doesn't. So it, it's pretty normal that I would have an eight or 10 hour day, 100% alone in a windowless black studio. That's pretty normal. And I would say one to two hours of that might be at the drum set. And six, seven hours of that would probably be at the computer. Sometimes I'll go inside with the dogs and be on a laptop, but um, it is, I've, I've talked about this before, it is undoubtedly a very, very lonely job. It's not one where you can hang out with other people and do this sort of stuff. It requires that you stare at a screen or be at a drum set completely alone most of the time. This is about as social as this job would ever get, is something like this, right? So, on my new podcast, uh, it's called All In With Adam. It drops December 17th, which is my birthday. That's the that's the first episode. Um, after a couple episodes in, I'm going to take the Myers-Briggs test, which is a psychology profile sort of test. Um, and that will hopefully offer some insight as to how I'm able to do this. But I think my, for me personally, the answer to your question is that I can do this because I am deeply introverted. Um, whenever I hang out with a lot of people in like a big social setting, which I do enjoy, it is only, there's only so much of that I can do before I have to take a break from people. And I need a, a very, very large amount of alone time. It's just part of my personality. And I'm well aware that that, that helps me in this job. Not everybody is equipped that way. And I first learned this when, when COVID hit, I would have some buddies come over and they would say things like, man, I'm just so happy to like be around a person and get some social time in and hang out. And that is really hard for me to understand because I'm like, this has actually been pretty awesome, like not having anybody over for a long time. Um, so it really is personality based. And I, sometimes I feel like I have an unfair advantage in that being so introverted, it's really, really easy um, for me to to do these kind of work weeks where I don't see anybody for a week at a time or two weeks at a time, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. But for somebody who's not in that position and it does bother you, I would say the move would have to be to prioritize your social time, to be super proactive uh, about spending time with people. Because if that's something that you value, just like I value alone time, some people would have the opposite value uh, and they would need to hang out with friends. I would say you know, something that might work in your favor is like scheduling hangouts with friends, like literally making plans a week before in anticipation that you're going to have a long, lonely work week and that might bother you. And so, you know, hit up, even if it's a guy friend, hit him up, make a little dinner date or come over and play, uh, what were we talking about this morning? Cyberpunk oh 2077. Play yeah. that video. Oh my God, that looks yeah. sick. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I would say prioritize and schedule your social time, whatever that is for you. I, I think a lot of people genuinely need that most people do um and so yeah i would say just uh prioritize it schedule it out that has to be the move it has to be uh, and if you are deeply introverted and wondering if this job is for you it is it is you'll do just fine <laughs> yeah. I, I have nothing to add to that it was, it was a good answer um <laughs>